Welcome to BioLegend's Neuroinflammation Pathways poster in 360 degrees. Neuroinflammation refers to the inflammation of the nervous tissue and occurs as a response to a variety of inflammatory signals such as trauma, infection, aging, genetic risk factors, and pathogenic protein aggregates. A combination of responses from neurons, microglia, astrocytes, and peripheral immune cells, along with cytokines, chemokines, and the complement system, constitute the basis for neuroinflammation. These inflammatory stimuli may directly lead to oxidative stress, which is defined by an imbalance between the production of reactive oxygen species, such as free radicals, and the ability of the body to counteract their harmful effects through antioxidants. Oxidative stress is detrimental to neuronal cell health and may lead to neuronal cell death. Inflammatory stimuli can affect the resident immune cells of the brain, microglia, and astrocytes. Microglia are the resident macrophages in the central nervous system, CNS, and account for 10 to 15% of all cells found in the brain. Using their processes, microglia constantly survey their domain to perform housekeeping functions, such as cleaning up random cellular debris. These processes are very sensitive to small changes in physiological conditions of their environment. They are able to search for and identify immune threats while maintaining homeostasis in the CNS. Therefore, microglia are morphologically extremely plastic and undergo structural changes based on the needs of their environment. Astrocytes are star-shaped glial cells in the brain and spinal cord and account for 20 to 40 percent of all glia cells. Astrocytes have a multitude of functions. For example, they help in the formation and maintenance of the blood-brain barrier, BBB, provide nutrient support for neurons, remove excess toxins such as glutamate, and maintain extracellular ion balance. Astrocytes have many fine processes which are extremely elaborate and complex. At the BBB, these processes contact the blood vessels and encircle endothelial cells by forming perivascular end feet. Astrocytes are also a component of the tripartite synapse model of neurotransmission, where a synapse consists of three functional units the pre- and postsynaptic neurons, and the surrounding astrocytes. Under healthy physiological conditions, microglia and astrocytes are known to be in a resting or ramified state. They perform their normal functions, as mentioned before. Under unhealthy or inflammatory conditions, these cells can sense the damage signal or the neurotoxic insult and undergo activation leading to morphological changes and secretion of inflammatory molecules. At this state, they are called reactive. Reactive microglia and astrocytes can produce a variety of molecules, such as pro- or anti-inflammatory cytokines, depending on the nature and intensity of the inflammatory stimulus, for instance, acute versus chronic inflammatory signals. Chronic neurotoxic insults lead to persistent inflammatory reactions that are primarily mounted by reactive microglia and astrocytes. At the blood-brain barrier, pro-inflammatory cytokines, chemokines, and matrix metalloproteases produced by reactive microglia and astrocytes can modulate the permeability of the blood-brain barrier and eventually disrupt the barrier induce infiltration of peripheral immune cells such as B, T cells, and monocytes, and further upregulate the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines by these cells. These pro-inflammatory signals can also act on the circulating complement proteins, lead to their recruitment, and chemotaxis across the blood-brain barrier and activation. The complement components can then opsonize and destroy the noxious stimulus. In addition, they can induce the recruitment of peripheral immune cells. These inflammatory cascades can further escalate the inflammatory signals and lead to neuronal cell death.
Persistent neuroinflammation in disease conditions such as multiple sclerosis can lead to injury and apoptosis of myelinated neurons. MS is believed to be an immune-mediated disorder that develops as a result of a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Damage to myelinated neurons disrupts the ability of parts of the nervous system to communicate, resulting in a range of symptoms, including physical and psychiatric problems. The myelin sheath is produced by a group of glial cells called oligodendrocytes and provides support and insulation to axons in the CNS. Oligodendrocytes also provide trophic support by producing factors such as glial cell line-derived neurotrophic factor, GDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, or insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1. A combination of cytokines produced by the microglia, astrocytes, and infiltrating peripheral immune cells, autoantibodies against components of myelinated neuron, and activated complement proteins lead to death of oligodendrocytes, loss of myelin, axonal breakdown and degeneration, and subsequent neuronal cell death. Apparent synaptic pruning is a consequence of excessive synapse removal by reactive microglia. In response to pro-inflammatory insults, reactive astrocytes produce an unknown factor called protein X, which triggers the production and shedding of the complement components by neurons. Excessive tagging of neurons by activated complement proteins and their recognition by complement receptors or reactive microglia results in phagocytosis and removal of the synapses. Aberrant elimination of synapses that should normally remain intact could play an important role in neurodegeneration. Acute inflammatory or neurotoxic insults can trigger the production of anti-inflammatory factors such as cytokines and chemokines by microglia, astrocytes, and peripheral immune cells. These factors lead to removal of neurotoxic insults, cellular repair and regeneration, and resolution of inflammation. Toxic aggregates produced by neurons can bind to and activate components of the complement system. This action triggers activation of the microglia and astrocytes and expression and shedding of complement proteins by these cells. Complement proteins can further bind to the aggregates and form complexes that are recognized and phagocytosed by the microglia. Furthermore, circulating autoantibodies can also bind to these aggregates and lead to their phagocytosis by the microglia. Glial scar formation is a process where reactive astrocytes produce factors that lead to astrocyte proliferation and creation of a barrier across the injured area to establish a boundary between the nervous and non-nervous tissue. The glial scar prevents further microbial invasion and limits peripheral immune cell infiltration. It also allows for the regeneration of the blood capillaries by stimulating revascularization to increase neurotrophic and metabolic support of the damaged nervous tissue. Reactive microglia and astrocytes produce factors that help with tissue regeneration. Reactive microglia do so by producing factors such as arginase 1, to reconstruct the extracellular matrix, ECM, and repair the damaged tissues. Reactive astrocytes secrete a variety of molecules such as chemoattractant and neurotrophic factors to aid ECM reconstruction, neovascularization, and angiogenesis. Cellular repair and regeneration occurs as a result of reactive astrocytes and microglia working together with peripheral immune cells to produce a number of anti-inflammatory cytokines and trophic factors that culminate in 1. Creating a healthy environment for neurons to thrive in 2. Stimulating neuronal stem cells to migrate to the site of injury, proliferate and replace neurons that were lost as a result of the injury and 3. Axonal remodeling and neural repair a combination of various efforts by these distinct cell types leads to the resolution of inflammation 
and a return to a state of homeostasis in the brain. Thank you for watching our video and learn more at biolegend.com.